about this whole Dennis Rodman North Korea situation because it's awesome. Rodman has become BFF with Kim Jong Un, North Korea's dictator. He visited North Korea this year for a TV show, what else? And he got along so well with the dictator that he was quoted as saying, I love him. He's now organizing a basketball game to celebrate Kim's birthday next year. Recently, Rodman went back to North Korea for another visit, and he came back gushing about what a great time he had and what a great guy Kim is. He's been making lots of statements to the press about how the dictator is just misunderstood, saying he's not all that bad, calling him just a good-hearted kid. So Dennis Rodman has made it his mission to improve relations between the U.S. and North Korea. Dennis Rodman, a guy who can barely pronounce words, who got rich off of basketball, dated Madonna and Carmen Electra, has a well-documented drug and alcohol problem, and has starred in Donald Trump's reality show, The Apprentice. In other words, Dennis Rodman is the perfect representation of America. He has zero understanding of politics or labor camps or anything of any real import at all. At a recent press conference, reporters were pressing him about what his thoughts were about North Korea's bad relations with China and Japan. Rodman responded, I don't care what the F he does over there, what he does over there, what he does over there. Between me and him, we're friends. I don't care. And that is just perfect. Because that is how we roll in America. We make friends with countries whenever we want, and we don't worry about how terrible they might be to others. We have a terrific friendship with Saudi Arabia, where women aren't allowed to drive and need male guardians under law. We're besties with Israel and don't seem to care about their hypocritical nuclear weapons program while we threaten Iran with war for the same damn thing. It's all a joke. Countries making friends with other countries while bashing others who do the same things as their BFF countries. So it's absolutely perfect that Dennis Rodman defends his new best bud, who happens to be one of the most controversial, secretive world leaders of our generation. It makes Dennis Rodman the quintessential American emissary for our time. Tonight, let's talk about that.